Hi folks, uh, not too much to go over this week. Uh, we have a quiz and that's about it. Um, I'll get to that in a second though. I wanted to go over questions first. So I got a couple of questions this week, um, all basically along the lines of why won't Lynx and CI Learn work? Uh, there could be a number of things, but the most likely thing from what's been reported is that the session has timed out. Now what this means is basically the connection between my CI and CI Learn it establishes a connection that says uh, you can use CI Learn for this amount of time and if you don't do anything in that amount of time then we'll cut the connection. It's a security measure so if you stay logged in somewhere and you leave and you forget to log out that someone won't be able to like hijack your account. Uh, so how do you fix it? Uh, there are two main ways. The easiest way is to navigate to myci.csuci.edu and log in again. That's by far the easiest way. Um, the, the, you could also open a private tab. Um, we haven't covered that, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, you open a private tab, go to myci.csuci.edu and log into CI Learn again, and that should fix everything. Failing that, one of the big issues has been access to the videos. So what I've done is I've made them public on YouTube and I provided a link in the uh, document that I'm sending out to that channel. So basically the takeaway is it's best to log into MyCI every time you want to use CI Learn. So if you're going to take the quiz, do homework, anything, it's best to log in again. That way you're guaranteed that everything you do will be saved. Right, the quiz. So the quiz is made up of two parts. There's a multiple choice section and a practical section where you have to perform some tasks and um, you know upload the result. So uh, part one, it's multiple choice. It's just like the homework assignments, um, except that you only have one chance and you have slightly less time. I think I'm going to make it about 60 minutes. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad as all the questions are from previous homework assignments. And honestly, the average completion time for you folks is about 11 minutes. You guys seriously rock the homework. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I think you'll all do fine on that. Uh, the next part, this is sort of the practical section. In this section, I have attached a zip file. I'd like you to download it, unzip it, and that'll result in a folder. I'd like you to upload that folder to your Google Drive. And within that folder, there's a spreadsheet and a document. Now, if you open those, there are further instructions there. Um, the gist of it is in the spreadsheet, in column D, there will be a bunch of tasks uh, going over some of the things we've covered the past few weeks. In the document, it's going to be the same thing. You open up the document, and there's just a list of, you know, do this, do that, do this. And at the end of it, I'd like you to download that the folder that you originally uploaded with all of your changes in it. So it'll be a folder with a spreadsheet and a document. I'd like you to download that folder, and that'll give you a zip file. I'd like you to take that zip file and attach it to the assignment in Blackboard or CI Learn, depending on what you want to call it, and then submit that. So again, I'd really like you to submit the assignment with the zip file attached to it. Uh, and that's really it for the quiz. Um, next week, we're going to go over uh, if and if error a little bit more. I want to look at pivot table reports. We're going to look at presentations, and we will probably cover a few other things as well as that. And we'll cover more than that as well, uh, but that's going to you know, remain to be seen. So thanks, and good luck.